At YouTube TV, we're here with Amaya Willingham. We're at the Jamel M. Tarver All-Star Weekend uh, community event. Amaya, you're back in town. You got honored. How does that feel to be honored by your, you know, the people from your hometown? Um, it feels great, especially coming from my coach who invested in me, put time into me, um, worked with me, helped develop me. So, you know, it's good to be remembered for all the hard work that you put in. Who's your coach? Coach Danzy. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. All right. Um, so he tried to do a slight like I didn't help you. <laughs> he, he tried to act like I didn't work you out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Before Danzy even had you, who had you at the YMCA? Okay, okay. Next question, sir. <laughs> okay. Now you're down in um, Florida now, right? Yes. After you're seeing a luxurious career. What are you doing down there? And let the people know what's happening with you. Um, right now, I'm a teacher. I'm actually in school to get my master's to become an assistant principal. Um, I ref high school and college basketball, and I coach for my middle school team. We actually just won uh, district playoffs. We was undefeated, made history, wow. and then we lost in the championship game by seven points. Wow, <laughs> you're doing your thing. So you had the rare opportunity of doing what I have done, which is play basketball, ref basketball, coach basketball. Tell me about those three different hats and the different levels of them, and tell me what your experience in that had been. Um, I think as a player and putting in the work, it set the foundation um, to know what it takes to get better. Um, and then playing and, and being able to coach it, you know, it's, it still shows that I have the passion for it. Mm. What are your thoughts about the WNBA now? I mean, it looks like it got a lot of um, notoriety about being on the rise and getting more equal pay, higher pay. What are your thoughts about that? Um, I wish I watched basketball a lot more, but I would say from what I have watched, um, those young girls are definitely different and um, they're paving the way for the ones coming up. Um, and it's, it's great to see basketball for women still being talked about, or now being talked about. Okay. Uh, talk to me now about um, the, the wave of um, the things that you're doing coming from here and being able to enjoy those things and what this meant for you in this hub of building you to go on your experiences in Florida and do the things that you're doing. Um, I mean, I have a great support system here. So my coaches, my family, everyone who has invested in me. So I think it was easier for me to know what it takes to put in time and energy into myself, just seeing it and being a product of it. So now being able to go to another state and give back to other people. Well, we want to tell you straight up and down that we're very proud of you here. You're one of our own and you have done a fabulous job and definitely been a prime example to young people all around of things to do. A person that stays focused and disciplined in what they can accomplish. And you have done that because you used to be the pain in the bunt when you was younger. Oh, my God. Oh my <laughs> but you have grown into a fabulous young lady. and We're glad to have you on. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you thank guys. You, thank you. Thank you.